Hello there guys, Feng here, and welcome back to Cataclysm DDA. Okie dokie then. So we're in the version, well, experimental version 2008. Now I had a quick look at the uh, change logs, just see if I can figure out what's new and what not. Uh, there's only really one particular thing that was really noticeable, and I actually played around with this, the build this morning, and realised how much, uh, how much harder it is now to do certain things. So the main, the main thing that's been changed now is the way, is the way the construction requirements are needed. So let's actually just load in, and I'll just show you. It's probably the best thing to do at this point. So. Very easy stuff that you used to be able to do pretty easily. Uh, do, 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 what am I doing? Yeah, so normally, for example, if we were in an evac shelter, normally I'd make a makeshift bed. Now you can normally make these straight away. You don't need any experience in construction. Now you do. Now you need at least three to be able to make a makeshift bed. Now this is actually pretty cool. Um, I think it probably was needed to be quite fair because you could basically build pretty much anything that you wanted without the proper requirements. Um, yeah, building a water well now requires knowing now. So <laughs> yeah, that that's that's put that's gonna be put on hold. I think <laughs> uh, that was the one thing I was gonna try and do next was try and build a water well, which we probably could have been able to do. I mean, we do have to dig in the hammer in now, but. Uh, we didn't really have the mechanical pump or pipes or anything. Yay! Go back. Change the colour scheme to Windows. Fucking basic. I should probably just stick it on that and get on with it. So yeah, a lot of other stuff now requires a lot more construction, as you can see. Uh, bloody hell, lots and lots. So yeah, that's uh, that's one of the major changes so far in the uh, latest current build. So the one thing that's probably going to be worthwhile doing now is deconstructing furniture. Why? Well, because it gives you construction. It still obviously gives you some construction experience if you deconstruct furniture. So, we do need a screwdriver. Something we don't really have at the moment is a screwdriver. Oh, and while I'm thinking about it, what I'm going to do is <laughs> uh, get my... Do -do 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 -do. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? It's not there. Where's it gone? There it is. The underbarrel laser sight. I did actually forget to equip this. I could have... Uh, Oops, it's just moving layers. I could have equipped this uh, quite a while back, but uh, someone pointed it out and actually completely forgot that I had it. So I can now attach that to my crossbow. That's going to give it, uh, I think, a wee bit more accuracy, which is obviously welcomed at this point. Yeah, visible laser, uh, visible light laser that mounts under the firearms barrel to enhance ease and speed of target acquisition. So yeah. This is actually the only mod that can be used on a bow. Obviously, a crossbow, it doesn't matter because crossbow has actually got quite a lot of, um... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, underbow. It's got quite a lot of mod locations, so that's not really a big deal. But obviously, if we just had a bow, then that would be pretty huge. That would be pretty huge indeed. Okie dokie. So. Uh, what, did we do? What, was, what did I do last time? I think we were just about to get to sleep, wasn't we? Oh, that was it. It was starting to get night, and... We were we wasn't really able to read anything. There's a sweater in there. Lovely. I'm just trying to uh, recap. Now that gren that grenade or the grenade. Um, I'm not too sure if I pronounced that right. I'm so sorry, Kevin, if I haven't. But um, I do believe that um, that grenade is kind of a special item. So um, someone mentioned on the comments in the um, not previous video, the, the video before. That the Granada is kind of a hit and miss item, you use it, and sometimes good things will happen, sometimes bad things will happen. It's pretty happy go lucky. Um, I actually can't remember where the fuck I found it. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure it was somewhere up here. So I suppose we can always go back out and have a look for it again. Um, but that would be quite cool, um, trying to get that, just as a last ditch resort if things get really heavy. But um, it's got quite a lot of um, it's got quite a lot of things that can happen, and um, one being um, stat bonuses, permanent stat bonuses. But at the same time, you might also get stat stat um, penalties, which is not necessarily a great thing at this point. I'm just checking to see what. Yeah, we're pretty warm. That's good. Our mouth's completely covered now, more or less as well. So we're nice and warm in the winter. Excellent. 
Um, and I just can't do anything at the moment because we've got no bloody light. I suppose what I could do is grab an every stick and just stick it in there for the time being. Maybe light it up and do some stuff. Uh, I suppose I could practice my sewing. Nah, nah. Let's um, let's get me book back. Where's my book? Modern Trapper. Uh, where did I put that damn book now? Under the hood, it was right there. I'm a dumbass. There we go. Okay, so we're going to light this up. And we're going to read for a little bit. Under the hood. We could probably only read for a little bit. Oh, okay. We can we can read quite a bit. We've learnt recipe for the lead battery. That's superb. Okie dokie. Uh, we might even finish the book if we're lucky. Ah, oh, not quite. Okie dokie. Uh, I think the next order of uh, things to do is to get a, a pile of uh, firewood. That's going to be a hell of a lot harder, especially since we don't have access to an axe. Um, I believe someone actually mentioned as well. Um, is it? Oh, Mr. Photo. I think it was. Uh, who mentioned about the stone axe being in a book. I honestly can't remember. I'd... I kind of make another sort of... Mm. Probably not. But we can always break down some uh, young trees or bushes or whatever to go and get some uh, wood. That's not a re that's not a big deal really. Let's eat and drink some water. Nummy nummy nummy. At least we're not too bad for water. But we'll see. Just uh, chuck that in there like so. There we go. Okay. Um, oh, it's still half past that. I'm not tired yet. I don't really want to try and go to sleep till I'm tired. Oh boy. We've also got a USP 9mm that I haven't actually reloaded yet. Let's do that now. Oh, that's one thing I could do. I could make a holster. I think I can make an holster. I could make an ankle holster. A small pistol or knife. Yeah, I think I should be. I should probably be able to do that. But I need some light. God damn it! Looks like we're going to um, do some harvesting early. By the look of it, yeah, that's what we'll do. We've got plenty of space anyway, so it's no big deal. Let me get my crossbow back out. There we go. Uh oh, my crossbow is no longer attached to the eye. That's. <laughs> I've got to try and remember that. Okay. Oh shit! What the hell? Um, what am I doing? Did I really just? Oh, it's the shed. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. It's the shed. Okay, we've only got three. Uh, we've only got three water in that. Jesus, that's not great. That's not great at all. Yeah, it would be nice if we had a little bit more of um, a little bit more light, but it's not a big deal. I found some trash in here. Excellent. That's not what I wanted to do, and it's a rock. Uh, let me just smash in some stuff. We should, probably shouldn't be smashing in with our crossbow either. There we go. Just use our fists. Our bare fists to smash stuff. Oh, I think we might have a heavy stick there. Sweet. At least it's one heavy stick. That'll do. It's better than nothing. Ooh, we might have two heavy sticks here. Ooh, three heavy sticks. Sweet. Right. Smashy smash. Smashy smash smash. Yeah, this might be taking a little while. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I suppose while we're doing this, what I will try and do tomorrow is I will try and basically check out the northern side of the city that was in previously. Oh, okay, we're actually carrying a wee bit too much now. Okay, let's get back in there. Oh, you're joking? That there was actually some here. Oh well, never mind. No big deal. Uh, let me get back here. There we go. Right. At least there's some. Looks like the sweater didn't burn, which is unfortunate. Uh, let me stick two heavy sticks in for the time being, and then we'll stick a few more there. There we go. Where's our supplies? Where is our um, crossbow bolt supplies? We've got 
Yeah, we've got 30 altogether. I could probably do with making a few more. Um, I can make 30 more, couldn't I? Yeah, I just need two more. So we, we can actually get these two by four. Was that over here? And the yeah, splintered wood. We'll take that instead. Oh, we might as well grab those nails as well while we're at it. There we go. Just close the door back up. Alright, let's just deposit splintered wood and some 2 by 4s There we go. Uh, was there anything else that we just picked up that... Yeah, rock. Picked up a rock. Just stick that there. I'll probably make this into a uh, better puddles off screen. Um, later. But for now, we should be, we should be good. Just drop the last uh, be stick there. Okie dokie. Uh, what was I going to make again? <laughs> I can't fucking remember. Shit, what was it I was going to make? Uh, oh, that was it. The uh, holster. So we need to get our lighter. Light the uh, fire. There we go. Uh, that should give us enough fuel to at least be able to uh, craft this. So we need the... Uh, we can actually uh, do a sheaf as well. I don't know if a sheaf will be useful. Sheaf might be useful. Ah, screw it. I'll do both. I'll do both the uh, anchor holster and the, she and the sheaf. We should have enough stuff for it. Okay, this is taking a wee bit longer than I expected. But, okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to... Actually, we can do this. I haven't used the advanced inventory yet for this uh, this character. That's interesting. Uh, we should stick where the uh oh that's turned into a burnt stick. Oh dear. At least it's going to give us a bit more fuel. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm going to make uh, two more crossbow bolts. Use the every stick, and then the other every stick. That's superb. Stick on my quiver. I can't remember if you can carry two lots of uh, the every the large quivers without it um, encumbering you even more. I can't remember. I've just realised something now. That anchor all stack. Can I make two? Will a second one encumber me on the uh, on the foot? We're going to find out. We are going to find out. So where is my ankle holster? We'll see. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming you can wear both. Yes, you can. Sweet. Is it incumbrous? No. Yes. Hang on. Um, hang on. I don't think it, actually, I don't think it does. Oh, go away. Go away. What I'm after, I'm after da, 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 do. I'm after winter survivor bits, aren't I? Yeah, it's got two incumbents. So yeah, it does an incumbia. Sweet, 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 sweet. Uh, that's now all I need to do is just do a little bit of sewing. We've only got thirteen. We've got thirteen foot left in here, but it's it's all good. It's all good. Just need to. There we go. And cause extra sturdy. Now what we can do is we can activate the combat knife. Actually, we can activate activate the ankle holster on the uh, pistol, like so. And then we can activate the other one on the knife. How sweet's that? That is absolutely superb. I'm a fan of that. <laughs> I really am a fan of that. That's sweet. Okay, so at least we're not carrying too much weight now from the pistol and the combat knife. If only you could make a sling for the uh, crossbar that you can carry it over your shoulder, that'd be actually be pretty cool. But um, I suppose you know we would we would carry in a large quiver with wooden bolts. You know, it's I suppose it could be it could end up being ridiculous if uh, he was able to do that. So yeah, and we are actually thirsty again. Let me just eat and drink. There we go. Sweet. So yeah, we're just gonna have a quick look at the map. I'm gonna try and. and basically look over here tomorrow and we'll see if we can find any decent buildings I mean there's not really anything around here except for maybe the cathedral I don't think the cathedral's got much in there really apart from some books don't think they're gonna have um, don't think they're gonna have useful books though 
rocks or anything. There is a lot of houses we can check out. I mean, obviously houses do have um, a better chance of spawning decent books, amongst other things, of course. Especially if we can find some more bullets for the uh, pistol we just got. That would be pretty cool. But for the most part, I think we'll just check the uh, top and we'll see what we can find. So I think that's going to be the agenda for tomorrow. As well as getting some more of, um, firewood for us to actually be able to read stuff while, uh, while night time and shit. I would definitely much rather do that rather than waste batteries with torches. <clears throat> so yeah. Uh, where's me book gone? It's going to be right at the end, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. We're going to finish reading um, this. Hopefully it's going to bring us to the next uh, level now. Yes, sweet. Mechanics is now at one, so I should be able to be able to. Um, I should be able to be able to. <laughs> I should now be able to at least craft some better stuff now. What? I don't know. <laughs> Not from the top of my head, anyway. But um, we've got plenty of bolts now. We've got 60 bolts. Don't need any more. I would prefer to make some metal crossbow bolts. Those would be. Those, those seem a lot better. I mean, the 15 damage from that compared to the 10 damage from that. And it's probably going to have armor pierce as well. Yeah, it's got a decent amount of armor pierce. Uh, yeah, we could definitely do with going some of these. But as you can see, we do need metal sawing. So we do need an axor. I don't think we can make a makeshift axor. We can only make a normal axor. And I think we need a thingy for that, don't we? Yeah, we need the uh, anvil for that. I wonder if you make an anvil. Actually, that's one. That's that, that's another thing I never really touched on. Yet is the um, building stuff via anvil. I'm assuming it's gonna be. Let's just look in all anvil. We might not be able to make it. Yeah, we might have to uh, learn it from a uh, book. Anvil, anvil, probably. Oh yeah, and th this was a funny thing as well. Uh, this gold bag. Actually, uh, found um, one of these this morning on my um, on my other character when I checked out the uh, the newest uh, uh, version, and <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in it that's actually pretty useful. It, it, I actually found this on a crash site just right outside uh, the evac shelter, and this is actually pretty damn useful, even though it's really heavy to carry, really heavy indeed. I mean, it's full incumbent basically the torso on the arms, so it's not your average. Backpack, <laughs> to say the least. I'm just thinking what else we should probably focus on. I mean, we haven't got an anvil. Oh, hang on, there's an anvil. Right, we need a, one tool with ammo and a three or more. Well, that's something we don't have. We have only got a normal hammer. Can you even get an hammer with three or more? Just thinking, might maybe be one, maybe be a mallet, possibly. I'm not just being sure about that. But let's have a look at that. Obviously not now. But we'll have a look at it. Crucible, which I think we can make pretty easily. Yeah, we still need a hammer of more. But we also need an electric forge. Or a charcoal forge. Steel frame and steel metal. It's gonna take it's gonna take a while to actually be able to build an anvil. Very specialist stuff that just don't exactly spawn right where we are at the moment. There's also a few fire drills. Actually, these might be a lot more useful than keep using lighters. This uh, state fire drill is a simple item for starting fires. It's made from two pieces of wood and some strings. It's constructed as simple as it's slow and rather difficult to get a fire started using this tool. Okay. Well, we can always we can always resort to this if we do run out of uh, fire fire making utilities. Uh, we've still got our fire going, so I might as well use the time to learn a bit more of this book. Especially since we're not exactly oh, especially since we're not actually fingered yet. Yeah, fingered. You heard me, fingered. Let's learn all the recipes from the book, even if they aren't exactly useful yet. Okay, fire's gone out. Burnt sweater. <laughs> it still hasn't completely burnt you. That's that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, okay. Sweet. I didn't even have to make the sheath, did I? Because we've got the ankle holster. I wonder if it's uh, faster to get to that than it's to just equip it normally. 
I would assume so. Oh, hello. Has a level 16 butchering quality. 16! Is that a typo? 16! I'm assume, I'm gonna assume that's a typo because uh, what's my uh, what's my combat knife? It's not gonna show me, is it? Of course it's not. <laughs> not properly, not necessarily uh, unwieldy, but I'm not gonna do that. And then we're feeling tired. That's actually a cracking opportunity to um, go to sleep. Twenty minutes already, just doing random shit in the uh, in the cabin. I apologise if that was a wee bit boring, but it's got to be done. Gotta be done. Okay, food, food, and water. There we go. Some lovely water. In fact, we've actually run out of food now. Um, did we have any more? Hang on. I should really uh, sort this shit out. I tell you what, I'm just gonna uh, pause this two seconds, and I'm just gonna make this a wee bit better. Okay, dokie then, so I have just um, sorted everything out now, so we've got me food and stuff here. Well, that's not actually my food, but there's me food and stuff, there's me clothing and tailoring stuff, there's my weapons, and there's me other shit that I don't need. Okay, so there's one thing I actually did notice, that we don't really have an awful lot of food, so I think we're going to go for a wee bit of a hunt first before we do anything else. So, that's what we're going to do now. We also don't have, we do have plenty of water, kind of. Now, now I'm going to be really pissed off, right, if snow doesn't go into this glass jar and uh, turn into water. I'll be a wee bit pissed off. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think that can happen yet. Don't think it can, but we'll see. But first we need to find some, well, food. Now, I'm already full, which is useful. And in fact, I'll probably drink that energy cola now so I can keep myself quite uh, peppy. Yep, you heard it right, peppy. And uh, we're going to see if, uh, if we can find that Grenade, or Grenade, I don't know if it's certainty or not, so I apologise <laughs> if, if it is. But um, yeah, I'm going to try and find that Grenade, or Grenade, and uh, pick it up. There's actually a dog there. What, where's that dog? Ooh, he's back down here. Hello. Where's the doggy? He's now to the south. Where's he gone? Here, yeah, doggy, doggy. Ooh, doggy, 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 right there. Hello, doggy, doggy, doggy. Have some of this. <laughs> Let's butcher him. Uh, we've got some bones and some meat. Only two meat, which is not an awful lot. So we need to see if we can find some more. There was a crow. Now normally I'd be really happy to see a crow because you can normally get feathers off them, which you can use for flights, but we don't actually need flights for bolts. So Which is a shame, you know. Aha. There's the weasel. Dead weasel. Deaded weasel. Let's see what we can get from this. Okay, this particular one has more meat than the dog. Yeah, go figure that one out. <laughs> that should be enough meat for us now. Uh, we're just going to go and have a look for this. I'm pretty sure it was up north, near here somewhere. I'm pretty sure it was. Oh, hello. Oh, I think it might have been in the crate. Hang on. There was another crate somewhere. Where's th where was that other crate? But, I'll tell you what, we can carry these anyway. Because these will be useful. Shit, I can only carry four. Okay. So you can find this with a grenade. There's a moose there and a zombie! Zombie! Where's the zombie? He's all up there. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try and keep away from him. I'm trying to keep away from the moose as well. I don't really fancy going up against a moose just yet. Where was that other fucking crate gone? I really wished I'd um, I'd at least left a note on where it was. Where did it go? I honestly can't even remember if. Oh, aha, aha, aha! Found it, found it. I chucked it, and I, I'd actually chucked it. There we go. And now I've got it. Sweet. Now we've got some decisions to make. 
Assuming we're not being followed by a zombie dog. Uh, no, I think we've missed the zombie dog, which is good. We've got a decision to make. We can either use this now and hope for the best, or we can keep it for another time. Hmm, now, <laughs> is there four possible outcomes that can happen here, assuming that the wiki is up to date? Right. The first thing it can do is it can bring me to full health. It will make me full and slaked, or I think it will actually just bring it to um, where how it normally is. And basically, it will just kind of re revive me, kind of thing. Yeah, it'll make me recover. Uh, the second thing that can happen is that my stats will get permanently boosted. The third thing that can happen is my stats get permanently um, negated. Uh, you know, you actually uh, lose stats. The fourth thing that can happen is it can kill me. And since we're already 25 minutes, you know, I'm I'm, I'm tempted to use it though, because I've never used it before. Now, as far as I'm aware, you've got to be in its blast radius to get to get the effects. I don't know how, how big the... Uh, fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Right. Let's chuck it there. Okay, then, guys, cross your fingers. Cross your fingers. Right. Boofs! Yay, look at that! <laughs> sweet! Sweet, sweet, sweet! That was some luck. Wow, yeah, I'm loving that. Oh, that, that that's, a nice, that's a nice grenade. <laughs> wow. That is a massive, that's actually a really massive buff to us, that dex and strength, just because now we can, we're going to be able to reload the crossbow so much quicker. Wow. And I thought it crashed then. Wow, I'm, I'm so chuffed. I'm really chuffed at that. And third, wow, really? Let me fire a crossbow bolt. Oh, okay, it actually took 55. Okay, it looked like it took 13 and to reload my crossbow ball. Which I was going to go absolutely apeshit over because that's uh, pretty fast. But yeah, 55 is still good, especially considering I'm encumbered. You know, reloading does take a lot longer when you're encumbered. Uh, I'm just trying to check how long it takes. Uh, no, it's not your arms, it's your hands. Reloading costs a 30... Yeah, plus 30 movement points. So it could actually be 25 to reload if we took our uh, fingers off, but we don't want to be doing that. I'm so chuffed at that. That, is, that has made my day, that has. That has absolutely made my day. That's nearly better than giving mutations. Because you can get mutations on top of that now to get even more of a bigger boost. Now, of course, if it was the other way around, then, yeah, that might not have been so good. Um, we can't carry anything else now, so I think just for the time being, we're going to head back. We're going to drop off the uh, firewood, and we're going to make ourselves some meat. Then, once we've done that, we can go ahead and check out the north of town. You look so happy. <laughs> you never would have guessed, would you? Um, we did get some aspirin. Yeah, we got 40 aspirin. That's all. I was just checking. I was just checking. Um, I might nibble on some bones for a bit. No, let's not. Let's just go back. We're not exactly hungry, so there's no dying need to actually eat bones yet. So we'll just head back. We'll put. We'll make a nice campfire, and we'll do stuff. There's another mold there. Bloody mold. Um, let's have a look. Actually, is this no? It's still at three. God damn it! I really was hoping to build a well here as well. That was the that was kind of the overall goal. Trying to make a well, and then that way you're pretty much sorted. You know, you you got unlimited supply of water, basically, 
and of course as you can see that there's plenty of wildlife there isn't that much wildlife but there's still plenty enough for me to survive on but yeah, it looks like that's no longer going to be the case. We're going to have to really rely on gathering water from a water source. And it looks like we're going to probably run out. I mean, we can probably use the toilets of these for a while. But it's go it's soon going to get a bit a bit more to the point, you know. Maybe if you can find a pool. I mean, if you can find a pool, then we're, then we're basically sorted for life again. I don't think you can drain a pool out of water just by, you know, normal human consumption. So, we'll see. We'll see. Let me drop a 2x4. Uh, just the one, please. And we'll drop the other the other three into our stockpile. There we go. I'm just going to uh, drop some other stuff. The fur pelts. The aluminium uh, can. Oh shit, the aluminium can. Is there anything else? Mm, nope. There's the bones as well, but I can stick those there. No big deal. There we go. Okay, let's do some cooking then. Oh shit, it, it actually... <laughs> okay. Lagged for a little bit there. There's nothing to light there. Yes, there is. There you go. See you, dummy. Let's cook some meat. Lovely. Lots and lots of meat. Task is too simple to train. Of course it is. Right. Now, what I'm really hoping for at this point is to find a. Let me just uh, let me carry two of the meats, and we'll carry keep the rest. What I'm hoping to find is a library of some sort. If we can find a library, then we're pretty much sorted in terms of um, in terms of being able to do stuff <laughs> a bit better. But we'll see. We'll see. So we're gonna now head off into the distance. Uh, there's still plenty of stuff. I mean, still plenty of leather and, leather and stuff we can use here. That I didn't really bother picking up. Oh yeah, and that's another thing. We need to find a trolley of some sort. Trolley would make trips so much easier. So much easier. I wonder, I wonder if it's worthwhile trying to make one from scratch. If you can't find one. Oh, hello there. Doggy Woggy. Wow. Nice critical there. Sweet. Uh, the one negative of actually using this crossbow now, the fact that we've got so much strength, is the fact that uh, damage isn't really derived off of it. Um, like it is with uh, bows. But then again, I think bows kind of uh, take a bit longer to shoot anyway. Oh shit. There's a doggy there. I can't be 100% certain on that. I'm not 100% sure how the mechanics of the bows work. Even though I've been playing this game for nearly two fucking years now, well, I still don't know. <laughs> it's just the way. It's just the way it is sometimes, you know. It really is. Okay, so we're getting closer. Oh, that was another thing I was going to try and do that I never got around to doing this morning. Uh, I wanted to check that flower is dead. I want to check what other flowers there was. All these flowers look dead. That's not good. Mutated fur poppy. Okay, you probably can't get these because they're all dead. You probably got to wait until after winter where they'll grow back. I'm hoping they'll grow back. But I was just thinking um, of um, maybe poppy painkillers. Hang on. Which butch of him. Yeah, because obviously uh, making aspirin is quite a chore. Um... Uh, good old Mr. Frodo um, did uh, write something in the comments in the uh, not the previous video, the video before that about how to make them. It's quite a, it's quite costly really in terms of uh, resources and whatnot. But of course, you know, if you haven't got access to oh shit, okay, if you haven't got access to aspirin, then uh, the poppy painkillers are probably a really good alternative. I'm pretty sure we used them before as well um, on a older Let's Play poppy painkillers, but. It was a lot. Of, it was a lot easier to uh, do back in the day. You didn't have to worry about books <laughs> as much. So, yeah. Oh shit. Uh, yeah. Stop reloading. Let me get my. Uh, let me activate my. Combat beef. There we go. Sweet. I like that. 
Can we uh, plonk that back? It's a shame. It's a shame. There's no knock key to be able to um, plonk it back in. So you still need to go to that and activate it and then achieve it. I wonder if there is an. I wonder if there is an knock key. What's the um? What's the uh, thing is now? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, that reminds me actually. Description of. No, that's not including the uh, new stuff. <coughs> Excuse me, I was just checking. See if they got some of the uh, new stuff. I did see another new building this morning. Um, I can't remember what it was called. But it was just like it was just like a wired fence in a square, which didn't really have nothing in it, which was a bit weird. Uh, I can't remember what it was called, because I'm a dumbass and I can't remember. Um, you, know what, you know what might be easier? Then doing that might be to um, have the quick uh, menu. Where's the quick menu gone? The action menu. That's what I'm after. Yeah. Um. What could I? I could probably. I could probably um, put it on Z. Uh, the action menu. Let's equip it to Z. Yeah, it's fine. It conflicts with that, but that's fine because I don't use zoom in, zoom out anyway. So it's no big deal. Oh, right, there's the action menu. Uh, let's just see. Let me let me check. Right, so I'm gonna now purposely ulster my um, purposely on ulster my combat knife. Yeah. So let's see if we can reulster it in the action menu. That's a shame. It doesn't look like we can. What's also weird is that right fire toggle burst fire welded no. Um, interact, could we do that instead? Pick up, ascend, descend, no. Don't get me wrong, this is still really nice for beginners, there, this particular menu. And I highly suggest, I highly suggest if you, um, if you are just starting playing the game to use this uh, menu, it's pretty useful. But, take off one item, heat read. Um, to unlock. I wonder if it's in. I wonder if it's in Misk. Nope. Um, devs. <laughs> please, 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 give us an action to be able to uh, be all star in like well, one or two uh, buttons rather than sixteen million. That'd be really cool if that could happen. Uh, but that's fine. That's fine. That's the. That's. I'm just nitpicking at this point. But that's fine. So I'm just going to um, reactivate my all star and sheaf the knife. There we go. Get my crossbow back out. Reload it. There we go. Oh, that's one thing we can try and uh, go for. Try and uh, build a repeating crossbow. That would be so, so sweet. Uh, we might need quite a few things for that, actually. I'm just wondering can I actually make that now? A repeating crossbow? No. I'll probably need more firearms and it probably needs mechanics for it as well so or, or even survival I'm just trying to remember what it might need I, f I think it's mechanics right the car battery is destroyed because the zombies taking its uh, toll on it this zombie spots me but the uh, other one hasn't that's really weird I'm just gonna reload it anyway even if it hits me oh 55 actually yeah wow I'm actually, I'm actually faster than him seriously even with the encumbrance and stuff, I'm still faster than that. That's interesting. Reloading is so quick now. Oh my god, I can probably just use this solely. Depending, really. I mean, if we can, if we can get more bolts, more better quality bolts, then yeah, I can see this actually being a bit easy to do. I just realised it still suffers the uh, recoil from after reloading. Oops. Which is interesting. Ooh, that zombie actually lunged at me. The bastard. Let's just butcher that. Okay, nothing else. But obviously, uh, if we're going to use this solely, then, you know, we're going to notice that bolts are going to be destroyed a lot quicker. It'd be really cool if we could find a. Ooh, there's a web zombie. It'd be really cool if we could find. Ooh, <laughs> I was just about to say, really cool if we could find um, a gun store or something to, or even a um, sporting goods store to find some more 
uh, decent bolts. I don't think you can get decent bolts in the gun store anymore. Pretty sure we used to be able to. But I guess, I guess it don't really make sense, does it? Nah, stop reloading. Nah, that's fine. Just keep moving that way. There we go. Okay, this zombie does not want to die. No, it's fine. There we go. We do need to focus on firearms anyway, on their marksmanship, so I might as well keep this going for a bit. Oh, a hammer. Did we need a... I can't remember. But it's ah, no, this has got a, a hammering quality of three. Okie dokie. That must have changed. I don't remember a normal hammer having a quality of three. I think it was a quality of two. So maybe there's been some rebalancing in that that I haven't really noticed. This is a grabber zombie, so I don't really want to get too close. Although he's a bit faster than me. Well, he's actually not faster than me, but he's a, he's a bit faster than the other zombies so far. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to get him caught in a bush. As you do. And then we'll reload. Oh boy, okay. Let's try one more time. That's fine. There we go. Sweet. Um, US Weekly. Probably don't need that, so I'm not going to bother with that. Um, I have noticed that a lot of my bolts are not staying intact. How much are we down to? Oh god, 41 minutes. Fuck. <laughs> okay, we've got 54. I'm going to uh, put a cut in here. I apologise. I didn't really want this episode to be so long, but I've done it anyway for your pleasure. Okay, then, guys, I'll see you next time.